What's good with it, YouTube world? It's coffee. Tapping back in, man. Once again, on Operation Get Back, trying to get back, you know. So I guess this is like a warm-up video. Stay tuned. Join the discussion. A lot of content coming, right? But uh, you see we're over here. I'm one of the most hated individuals to pop up in the blogosphere in a very long time. You know, we're talking about as is. I'm sure everyone remembers, you know, he is part of the legendary outsiders who you know, collabed a lot, worked a lot with Eminem before the fame and kind of rate when he was obtaining that fame. You know, that's a whole another story discussion. We've talked about it a lot on the channel, but you see as is here is calling out um, one of Eminem's close friends, right? 50 Cent, close friend, close collaborator, however you want to put it. And uh, peep it, he says, watching the Murder, Inc. documentary, the dude black child said 50 Cent told to police on him some of y'all love defending and praising a rat that dude is a whole rat so this is a convo that's been going on forever right and comment too guys if you have tapped into the murder inc documentary at all you know i, I put it out there in another video i'm do that um you know regardless like the narrative with murder inc irv Gotti, ja rule has been all bad you know it, the story just kind of goes in the book says 50 cent signed with Eminem you know what I mean he had been beefing with uh Ja Rule prior to getting with Eminem you know I don't believe you murder all that it should go his way back and um you know they say originally they didn't even want fifth dissing uh Ja while he was under the shady aftermath interscope umbrella and uh you know that Ja started talking all that ish in the magazines and whatnot. So they said, fuck it, get him fifth. And we know that ended up moving on to um, Eminem after the, what, loose change diss Ja Rule dropped and M, D, 12, OB, everyone was dissing Ja. And as well, at the same time, the whole Benzino thing was going down and Benzino linked with uh, Murder, Inc. It was a whole thing. But you know, I'm going off on that bit of a tangent there. What The point that I'm trying to make is it kind of always goes down in the books that Ja, Murder, Inc., everyone just got bodied. You know what I mean? Like, it's all bad, humiliating type-ish. But I'm always the kind of dude that always points out, like, hey, Murder, Inc., Ja Rule, well, we'll just say more or less Ja Rule had some bangers. Ashanti as well, you know, like they had some some great music and everything and they they sold a lot of records they had a lot of number one so i always put that out there you know like comment y'all if you guys fluck with ja rules discography you know um vetti vidi vg what pain is love uh rule 336 a lot of great songs on there and more or less i just try to give them credit and say hey it, you know they did get bodied on wax like that but let's not front like they didn't have hits but then when the news that this documentary was coming someone broke it down and was saying hey do these guys really get need or deserve a documentary right and um you know originally i'm like yeah like i was just saying let's not front they had hits etc etc but when you really look at it their reign was very small because what what a get richard uh die try and drop like oh three and by then, that was the beginning of the end, which had kind of already started. And um, Ja's second project dropped in, I believe, 2000. Rule 336 was 2000. Vedi Vidi Vici with Hala Hala, I think, was like, what, 98, 99 or whatever. So all in all, yes, they had a lot of hits, but it was only like a three, four year span. And I'm like, man, maybe you're right. Do they even deserve that documentary? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Like. I didn't realize it was all over and done with so fast. And um, aside, you see, we're talking about Black Child here, who, you know, was another dude on the murdering camp roster, whatever you want to call it. You had, what, Ta Murder or Cadillac Ta, who's uh, big in these uh, clubhouse streets these days, frequently on there with uh, WAC 100, you know, doing that whole clubhouse 100 initiative i guess caddy ties over there all the time you know i don't know share your thoughts about that but um aside from ja rule and ashanti was there really any successful artists over there i'm not saying some of these dudes weren't skilled or whatever but were, were any of them successful N not really right but um 
let's check what he says here. He says, I believe God's child 718, which I believe that is indeed black child. A lot of y'all let money and fame blind y'all. That dude, 50 Cent, ran to the CIA for protection. He was 6'9 before 6'9. I don't care what y'all say. He's a rat. Now, again, this is a, a long standing thing where, you know, we know about the hit factory incident. I believe uh, 50 Cent was stabbed with a butter knife. And then there was the whole order of protection thing. You know, right when um, it was getting close to get Richard Die trying, dropping. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, it was it was very genius then as well. Like right before Eminem signed 50 Cent, they had all those 50 Cent is the future, God's plan, all those G-Unit mixtapes, which were fire, man. They were just going over other people's beats. Remember, they had that, do you love Ja Rule duets one and two? You know what I mean? Like it, it, it was wild the way it all strung together. And then boom, when the album dropped, it's like the, the, one of the biggest albums ever in hip hop history. Um, you know, it, it was like at that same time we heard of Ja and Irv Gotti. I believe it was Hot Nine Seven where they went on talking about, "Yo, we got this order of protection, Fifty Cent's names on there." Um, you know, then there was debates if that was true or not. Um, it was covered on the Beef DVD. We did end up finding out that it was actually true. There was an order of protection, um, an engineer, you know, who was working with G-Unit was assaulted in the altercation as well. And he pressed charges, you know, because he wanted to go forth with um, a lawsuit, you know. So there really was an order of protection, but, you know, 50 Cent didn't push for it. He just got, you know, his name, him being in the mix, etc., he ended up in the paperwork, but was not in the paperwork giving statements or trying to press charges or anything like that in, you know, legal aspect of things. But it was real. And there's always been, you know, uh, theories and stuff to come out. And I'll say myself included kind of always made me wonder, you know, it, it did 50 Cent work with the feds in some way? You know what I mean? This is a story in a, in a conversation that goes very deep. Um, you know, and then also when you tie into things that when this was all going down, Murder Inc. was indicted by the feds, but they really didn't want Murder Inc. They were trying to put Kenneth Supreme McGriff away and they wanted to freeze the assets and the money that Murder Inc. had so they could not help him with legal counsel and stuff like that. Like, I think he ended up having a public defender. You know, it was wild. That's another documentary that's currently out is the Supreme Team drama. You know what I mean? Or drama. Supreme Team drama documentary um I, I don't know why the fuck i said drama but um i don't know you know a lot of people have theorized that 50 cent was some kind of secret informant with the feds uh at one point in time there was fake paperwork that did come out that irv and them were pushing it's just been a it's just been a, a theory that's been going around for a very long time but there's never been anything conclusive to definitively say that 50 cent told or anything like that you know and i'm not saying he did i'm just saying they're definitely at times things did seem kind of funny but let's people people are saying in the comments uh someone says god's child 718 again that's black child one of the realest mcs and stand-up brother in hip-hop queens to jersey block uh someone says not the same dudes who got taken out the game because of 50 saying the same ish show me the paperwork they've been saying this for years and haven't showed proof of it yet and again that's just what i was referring to that this has always been a theory but there's never been any definitive paperwork you know as it says you you ever heard of sealed files unless you're an informant you ain't finding that paperwork he's way too valuable to the feds he'll be protected until they feel like exposing him which will happen one day the prophet noble drew ali said they will tell the truth about themselves don't act surprised when it comes out remember i said this and then this gentleman responded and said dog supreme already said 50 don't got nothing to do with this his case so miss me with that prophet talk because you definitely tripping and then as it says i forgot you was there right now 
that uh, 50 did just speak about that in that recent Breakfast Club interview where we saw a lot of viral sound bites coming out, him addressing a lot of different stuff. That was the same interview where he was talking about his back hurting from carrying G-Unit, et cetera, things like that. Um, but he was pointing out that, you know, with the documentary coming out about the Supreme Team, people have been going over the files and paperwork and all that with the fine-tooth comb, and there's nothing about 50 Cent. Um, he said, I forgot you was there. I got a block party going on. You can either block yourself or join the rest. And dude says, you soft. And then as it says, you're a girl. You like to argue with men. Block out of here off my timeline, goofy. Damn, I'm surprised as is uh, blocked this guy for simply disagreeing with him. You know, um, let's let's slide over to uh, God's child paid here. Um, black child. Um, what's this? Uh, some about. In cap and I invested five hundred to get back with ten. What is this? Is he yo? Is he bit? Is he is he hacked by some Bitcoin scammers or what? Or is he pushing their BS? Okay, it starts with a silver net. I'm with the stars chilling at. Still on wing going cracks. Silverback gorilla back with bananas. The pillar cap had a right. He chose black. That's a 20 minute session there. We ain't about to tap into that whole thing. But uh, yeah, I, Black Child, I haven't heard much of from Black Child over the years. You know, you see Ja Rule like this post. So him and Ja Rule still seem to be on good terms. But I don't know. And I don't know, guys. All in all, what do you guys think about what uh, As Is is saying here? A repost from Irv Gotti. What's up, guys? This Monday, June 13th, I'm in ATL holding auditions, looking for a male rapper slash actor for the lead role in my new feature film, Tales Made in America. I really pluck with that Irv Gotti tale show. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, but let me close this thing out, guys. Again, what do you guys think about this? Um, you know, the Hit Factory incident, um, you know, as is, you know, still pushing that narrative, you know, that... Um, 50 cent is a snitch uh the, the the incident black child stabbing him with the with the butter knife uh the order of protection let's discuss it all in the comments below uh don't forget to subscribe if you're new guys this is jay coffee talk we drop videos every day all day although like i said i'm on operation get back because i haven't been too active with the content lately a lot of ish going on but we're trying to get get back catch up mode you feel me so i uh, look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments I'm about you, y'all. Peace.